Hey, what's up? I'm Paul Walker from the movie The Fast and the Furious. Uh, I don't know, basically here I guess just to show off my car. Uh, after doing the movie, I really got into import cars. Uh, I was always into racing, but uh, the import car scene really wasn't my forte until I drove an R33. So I had Motor X import me a Nissan Skyline R34. And uh, it's fast, <laughs> to say the least. It wasn't but maybe a little over a year ago that uh, I said that I'd do Fast and the Furious. At that time we didn't even have a script. I was just basically told the premise was going to be about modern day uh, drag racing. And I played an undercover cop and it sounded pretty cool. So against the advisement of my representatives I said yeah why not I'll do it. Oh, this import car scene it's definitely far from fading. I think it's blowing up. You know I did a lot of promotion for the movie traveling around the country. And you know, I was told it was pretty big in North America, but I didn't realize just how far it had spread. On set, one of the characters, uh, Johnny Strong, played. Uh, he drove a, a Nissan Skyline R33, and uh, I drove it. It was immediately after that I put my uh, my Porsche up for sale, and uh, I had Motor X import me a Nissan Skyline R34. I'm actually uh, chasing down, hoping to get some corporate sponsorship, maybe some tires, a few other things. Now that Fast and the Furious has been such a big success, uh, there's no doubt about it. Universal Pictures is planning on doing a sequel, which uh, I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I'm now in with a lot of people. RJ Devera, really good friend of mine. Craig Lieberman, both tech advisors on the movie. Jose with Max It Out Video. Mark Fernandez. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's, just, it's just a cool world and I'm really into it. Uh, I hope you keep racing. Uh, that is, if I don't keep blowing transmissions and uh, you know, blasting my clutches. But you know, I guess it's just a part of the game.